the code names, and the direction of our next several generations of processors. We're shipping Fermi today. The Fermi architecture brought to the world very high performance double precision with ECC. Fermi is rated at 768 giga flops peak and on DGEM sustains about 500. One of the things that we really take great care in and that we take great pride in is the, the difference between sustain and peak to keep that as low as possible. That comes from architectural innovation that is very hard to describe. The hundreds and hundreds of man years of innovation that goes into something that is extremely difficult to describe, we call architectural efficiency. The difference between sustain versus peak. Now, Fermi is just the beginning of where we're going to go. What I'm showing you here is a roadmap that plots time against performance per watt. And the reason why we plot it against performance per watt here is because in the future, we know that there is a power wall. Perf per watt equals perf. Perf per watt equals perf. In a constant power delivery environment, which we increasingly will find ourselves in, perf per watt equals perf. And so what we're showing you here is essentially perf. In the case of performance, Fermi is about one and a half double precision gigaflops per watt. Our next generation GPU, also named after a scientist, is called Kepler. We expect Kepler to be somewhere between three to four times the performance per watt of Fermi. Obviously, semiconductor technology alone cannot provide that. Kepler is based on 28 nanometers. We expect to go to production later next year. The design is progressing very rapidly. There are hundreds of engineers working on it. By the time that we're done with the Kepler family, we would have probably invested a couple of billion dollars in R&D for it. Kepler will deliver somewhere between three to four, per, four times the performance per watt, far beyond where semiconductor technology can bring you. And the reason for that is because we're still learning. We are learning from each and every one of you as you try to push performance and tell us the bottlenecks that you find. We're constantly learning about the barriers and the walls to achieving what we consider inside, what we call inside the company, the speed of light of parallel computing. And so as we learn from you, we incorporate those ideas into our next generation architectures. And then of course, just a fanatical drive towards performance per watt. That's an architectural question, that is a design question, that's a software question, it's a product design question, and of course, it's also a process question. Kepler will achieve a big step up relative to Fermi on performance per watt and therefore performance. And then after that, we have Maxwell. We, can, we believe we'll continue to be on this ramp. With parallel computing, transistors are free, power is not. And so if we are conscious about the use of performance per watt architectural ideas, then we'll continue to expand our performance along with the number of transistors that come with the chip. And so Maxwell is going to bring with it, yet again, a big step up in performance. Well, if you take a look at where we are versus where we're going to be, we're at about, if you, if you say that Tesla is 1x, which was our last generation architecture, Maxwell is going to be 16 times relative to our last GTC. In just a couple more years, in just a few more years, we're going to see a 16 times improvement in performance for your parallel computing applications. Now, performance isn't the only thing that we will bring. Each generation will bring architectural ideas and features like we did this time. This time we brought to you ECC so that we can deploy in a large scale way GPUs and server rooms. If you need to run a simulation for a week, the last thing that you want to know is somehow one of the GPUs created the wrong answer along the way.